I cannot imagine my life without the fighting, you know, without training, without fighting. It's something where it is my habit. I'm just not thinking, like, oh, I don't want to train. I'm just waking up. My back is already packed from the previous evening. What am I doing it? Regardless, I want it or, or no, it is part of my day. You know? So I just cannot think of w what can replace that. It's nothing. Yeah. So my fighting style, I think, evolved within the years. I start from boxing probably around 12 years ago, something like that. From, from boxing, basically, slowly moving to the, to the kickboxing. First with the, you know, the, the traditional one with the trousers and, and all of this protection. Doesn't really like the way, so moved to the K1. Been in the K K1 for most of my sport journey. But come to the point when I seen you know one of the of the Thai fights and I was like I think this is what I want to do, yeah. but never have any experience with it. So basically contact Raf over here and move to to the Thai gym. I thought basically experience from the K1 is gonna be enough to move smoothly into K1 into into the Muay Thai. And I was really 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 in wrong to be honest with you because now I'm here in Coventry with Raf and the lads for nearly two years and slowly start getting into, you know, that relaxed pace. Instead of, as you say, you know, heavyweight powerhouse, powerhouse just, just, just the power into the relaxing skill. So, I think the hardest transition for me, basically, was, as I said, my background was boxing. Okay. Where in Thai majority of the score is based on the kicks, so I find that you know I want to brawl, I want to box, and Raf was like always, or Raf or Mati, they were like, yeah, your boxing is decent, but you're not gonna win the Thai fight with your boxing. So we spent quite a lot of time to to improve the kicks, and I think basically that's the most improvement since I joined here. Excellent. Hey. Hey. So what I believe, and that's always I say for the people, what you, what you coming across, not just here, in every gym, when you have the fighters, people often are afraid to come into them and train with them, oh, he's a fighter, I better avoid. So with me, it's a bit different, you know, I do really enjoy working with the various people, you know, from the big guys into the smaller, you can, I believe so, you can learn something from everyone, you know, those guys which are lighter, they move in quick, they, they, they sharp, and you know, you need to be alert for the stuff which you normally doesn't have with the heavyweights. So I do believe so working with lighter guys or you would and with the women's which we have quite a few in the gym is something where you can develop from, from, from each round, from the each training and I think it's important just instead of swinging with the heavy lats is to blend it that that styles. So definitely it's based on boxing as I said, but moving to, to tie this fight especially I want to display the the whole Art of Muay Thai, but that's gonna be the, the fight which is gonna be under K1 rules, okay? So of course we're gonna be limited what we can do with, with, with basically uh, with the abilities into the rules, but I want to see in some, I want to display some nice kicks, some good clinch as well, as, 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 long, as long as boxing, so just, you know, overall I want to show that I'm not just big and heavy, I want to show and prove that, you know, I can, I can, I can compete in all aspects in, in the sport. Yeah. Basically, most of my fights in the past, they were based on boxing. Maybe finishing with the kick, like a Dutch style, you know, loads of punches, finish with the low kick and not really go, go about the race, you know. Now, you can expect everything, you know, you can expect middles, you can expect highs, you can expect knees. I think I grow up as a fighter with Raf, with Mati and with the rest of the guys, basically. I think I become more dangerous fighter than I used to be before. I'm a hell of a much, I need your hand to touch. I'm scared that I won't ever get that. Again, just random stuff that I don't care for. Can you reason I'm standing here for what's I'm there for? Really? Yeah. I have few things in life, you know, the, the most important is my family, my wife and two, two kids. One of them is, is attending here with me as well, she's nine. But oh, wow. after, after the family, I think... <laughs> Oh. 
definitely can agree. To be honest with you, the best stress relief is sport. Doesn't matter what it is. You know, combat sports are are are, are really good for release with stress. But that could be any kind of sport. You know, that could be gym, could be running, could be I know swimming, whatever. I think the physical activity is a really important part of of our life because without it, you become like grumpy, you become tired, you be, you, you're thinking about loads of stuff, just you know, accumulating. When you come in here, whatever you train, whatever you do, you just sweat it off and you become, you become happier, especially in the place like we have. You're coming in, seeing lots of, even if I have the days, like everyone, when I'm a bit, you know, low mood and stuff like this, I walk in, I see in the days bowing, you know, hi, you okay, and stuff like that, and that vibe. You just cannot stay in bad mood negative if you have that vibe from the people, you know, so I'm just literally soaking that in. Do you feel that you're an inspiration to your daughter? To your daughter, you said that she trains here, yeah? <laughs> I would like to be, you know, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, I'm never gonna be, but one of the most important goals in my life is to show to my daughter the good values, the values of sport, the, 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 the values of being honest, working hard, being rewarded for working hard, mm. and do not be demanding to the world. Now, on these times, you have loads of people expecting uh, get everything quick, you know, stuff like you have two, two guys having two N class fights and they're already demanding titles, stuff like this, without even having, you know, the sport junior or something. I want to teach both my kids, younger and older, that everything requires the time and you need to put your work in and basically from that the, the benefits will come so being inspiration is something what I would definitely aim for if we are there I would like to think yes nothing makes me happier than seeing her getting her small little backpack with the pink gloves you know pink <laughs> shorts I said daddy can we go for the for the session? I was like, yes, of course, let's go. You know, it's it's literally you're looking for your many self, and you, you're saying that you know, that 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 what you love is continuing with her. So, are she gonna train for the whole life? I don't know. Are she gonna fight? I don't know. But it's it's great to see her. You know, having the the steps in the right direction. <laughs> so what you can expect? Definitely good fair matches, good level skills. And from my fight, all while we say I fight Oliver already beginning of this year, I dropped him seven times uh, across four rounds. Okay, so what I would say with full respect, Oliver, let's go there. I hope you work hard because I do, and I'm gonna be way stronger and way harder than I was in the first fight. So I hope you work hard. I hope you're gonna you're gonna put all what you have because the Coventry people required the show, and let's put that show in.